So, this is a review of Arrow through season 1, um, from season t or episode 10 to 14. But also, first, before we start this off, I want to talk about trends and how stupid they've gotten. Um, the stupid... Uh, I'll just press the phone somewhere. This stupid thing, we call it a dab. I mean, it's stupid. Then there's the bottle flips, even stupider. This is going to get controversial, so, you know. Well, it already did in the five in the 35 seconds that this video has been on. It got super controversial. Probably a good dislike to like ratio, and I never really get any likes or dislikes. And probably a lot of negative comments, so, you know. But just hear me out. This is my opinion. My opinion only. The trends have gotten so stupid and lazy and, like, it just makes you think why they exist. Although in the name of trends, there's one I've been kind of wanting to do for a little while. Um, upon rewatching one of my old earlier videos. And I will be redoing one of those videos. It was super cringy. And it was in this very room when I did it. Also, Star Wars. But, that is not the point. The point is how cringy this video will get. It's the next video, though. Not this one. Um. Ads. Okay, now we're back. Um. But, the. With Arrow, um. Everything's very nice how they set it up. The Huntress, I wanted to say Enchantress, that's Suicide Squad. I also watched Suicide Squad again. Um. I'm not gonna give my opinion on that because I already did. Before, we got, like, free tickets from T-Mobile. It was really nice. Um, yeah. And I haven't seen Rogue One yet, um, so. I'm probably not going to see it until it comes out on DVD. Not because I'm not a fan of Star Wars. Um, but money is an issue. And instead of paying for overpriced tickets to go see uh, the movie, when I can buy games that I can enjoy a lot longer, we'll do that, and then we'll get the movie when it comes out, um, you know, what not, but, what was it, um, I don't know, yeah, so, when it, um, the Huntress, that whole arc was very nice, um, I think we see her again in the series, but, just, the whole, they wrapped that up nicely, and then they introduced Slade, Deathstroke, um, you know, before he went Deathstrokey. And then, like, in season, and like, the very first episode they were hinting towards the whole Slade, with, um, I believe when they pick him up off the island, there's a Deathstroke mask with an arrow through the eye. You have to destroy a bunch of those in Lego Batman 3. Um, and so it's just very nice to know that they're gonna, that they did answer questions or whatever. And I've been watching Arrow, Flash, um, Legends. I've been watching those all since they came out. Even Arrow. Um, so, you know, that show's been around since... I don't know. I have no idea. Um, but... It's been around. Um, and I just like how they've been wrapping up. Oh, Supergirl I also watched. But I like how they've been wrapping everything up so well in the past. Um, and then season five, I think, of Arrow is the one that's on. Season four, they killed off Laurel Lance. That sucked. Then they brought her back. And then they didn't. Earth 2... Black Siren, I think. She has the superpower, whereas Black Canary has the Bill Throat thingy. Um. Huh. Yeah, I mean, I don't know a whole lot. Uh, but I have been reading comics, reading the comics a lot. I have a bunch of the TV shows. Justice League vs. Teen Titans, which I really like. Um. Batman, Southern Batman, 
Batman vs. Robin. All of them. And I have Flashpoint. Just all of the movies. I know a lot about this stuff. So I know what I'm talking about. Um, actually, I don't know if I said it on YouTube. But when they did Flashpoint, I predicted it a few years ago. Um, two years, I think. No, no, it was... Yeah, no, I believe it was two years ago. I said, um, you know... Oh, isn't it neat they have... I gotta fix that. Alright! But I was like, oh, isn't it neat in Earth 2? Like, they're kind of building up to it in an Easter egg point. Um, not, like, actually building up to it, but, like, Easter eggs that they're kind of just letting you know what's about to happen. Um, and so in Earth 2, if you look at the... Right when Harrison Wells um, starts freaking out because Zoom took his daughter, um, you can see uh, it's Robert Queen as the Green Arrow instead of um, Oliver Queen, just like Thomas Wayne. Uh, how should I say spoiler alert? My bad. Um, well, there's going to be spoilers in the title if you just like that it probably says spoilers right there um but like just robert queen you know and then thomas wayne is batman martha wayne is joker um i guess whoever hasn't seen it sorry um just all of that though i really liked um that those easter eggs and stuff this is getting too flashy. I'm just saying, I know what I'm talking about. This whole I know what I'm talking about thing just reached to seven minutes, so I apologize. But... Yeah. So they're introducing Slade, Yao Fei, and then instead of choking that guy to death, he uses that weird technique to kill him and then pop him back. Just for the record, I'm pretty sure if you go into cardiac arrest, which he wasn't in cardiac arrest, I'm just saying, it's considered dying. So. I'm saying he died. He came back. He died, though. Um. I guess we're going to take a breather here. So, add. And we're back. But, like, you know, just the hood building into the arrow, building into the green arrow eventually. That arc takes a little while. And then I like how they're raising stuff up so that way it can just totally shatter later. Like you're raising the glass, or you're using a china plate as a frisbee. It doesn't break the first few times it hits the ground, um, because you got grass and dirt, and you know it kind of scratches up and kind of cracks. And so you know, China's still usable, but then you do it again, and then you're like, oh, oh no, you know. So just, I love how they're really solving all these arcs. They're just gonna raise them up, so we we're having dead shot, and then I mean. They had Deadshot, but I meant Deathstroke. And, um, then, you know, just... <sighs> also, they haven't shown Deathstroke on Teen Titans Go yet. I still watch it, mostly for Easter eggs and whatever. But Deathstroke is a big part of the original cartoon. I'm sorry, I'm pointing at the Star Wars thing. I have no idea why. Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars. Um, but, like, Deathstroke, or Slade, was a big part of just the original Titans cartoon. I love that one so much. And then he's just not there? What? We have reached 9 minutes and 45 seconds. This video will end at 10.42. Um, I wanted to keep make it a little longer, like 20 minutes, to make it worth your time. Uh, add. 
we're back. Alright, um, but, just, the, I love Arrow and Flash and Supergirl and Legends, and my TV just went off, so there was a huge, like, light, lighting flicker, you might have noticed that there. Um, but just, everything there, it just, they raise so much stuff up with such a risk of people not liking it, just so they can destroy it later and have a really good payoff with it. We have only a few more seconds to go with this review. So, 